Hey guys, how you all doing there? So in this video, we'll be looking to solve transformer equations and to practice using them under exam style problems. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So the example I'll go you guys presented is the following. So we have a student finds an AC power supply and reconnects their transformer. She also finds that VP equals 12 volts, IP equals 2.5 amps and VS equals 4 volts, where VP is the potential difference across the primary coil, etc. So let me define every variable here firstly. So in the transformer equations, we're always given a primary and secondary coil. And this primary and secondary are denoted by this, the little subscripts you see here, P's and S. P being primary, S being uh, secondary. The V represents the voltage or in this case, or in general case, the potential difference. And I represents the current. Now, let's look at the question itself. So the first question is, to calculate the power input of the transformer. Well, first things first, the power is always has a standard equation. It's always power equals the potential difference times um, the current, or in this case, current times potential difference, or so IV. This is the standard one. And because one of the formulations between the primary and secondary is that the primary call of the current and the voltage must be equal to the to the current and voltage of the secondary core. This means that we could, that means the power could be any of these two because they're, they're both equal. So we could actually use any combination. So but it has to be the primaries or both secondary. So in this case, because we actually have um, both primary values, we can use the primary for the current and the primary coil for the potential difference. So it will be 2.5 times 12. And that's it, guys. Literally, if you put this in a calculator, you should get exactly doo -doo -doo, 30 watts. Voila, easy. So remember, it's a power, which is IV. Now, how about this? Now, how about the current in the secondary coil? Okay, once again. So, in this case, we need to use the following relationship between the coils. We know that firstly, that the equation we have at the top is so IV for the primary coil is identical or equal to IV of the secondary coil. This means that we're going to have a type of equation where we just substitute values in. So what, what do you know about the IV, the IP and the VP? So the current for the primary is 2.5 times and the volt in the potential difference is 12. So we know that this is 30 automatically. And this is equal to the IV of the secondary coil. So I for secondary, which we, which we don't know, that's what we're trying to calculate, and times the V voltage of secondary coil is 4. And that's it. Now all we do is rearrange this mathematically. So what we can do is to make I S a subject, we need to divide the equations both sides by 4. So over here, doing it, let me just do up here. So dividing both sides by 4, we can just divide 30 by 4. So dividing 30 by 4 will give us exactly 7.5 amps. And that's it. Literally, you're done. Now, the final one is the primary coil. And so the primary coil has 15 turns. So we can, let's let, let's let the primary, the number of turns be represented by the letter N, yeah? So we can say NP is 15. How many turns must be on the secondary coil? Okay, so one of the equations for transformers tells us that the ratio between the potential difference of the primary and secondary is equal to the ratio of the number of turns of primary and secondary coils. So we can say that the ratio of the of the of VP and VS is equal to NP and NS. Remember the ratio of voltages equals the ratio of number of turns. Now we just literally plug in the values. We know VP VS. VP is 12. VS is oh that was VS is 4. And this is identical to NP is 15, and NS is what we're trying to calculate. So once again, doing some nice neat algebra. Let's make some space here. 12 over 4 is 3, so we have 3 equals 15 over NS. Now all you want to do is just literally times both sides by NS and divide by 3. So you should get NS equals 15 over 3, and this is 5 turns. And that's it, guys. This is literally the summation of it. So the bottom line is... The key equations you need to know in the context of it would be IV, the, the, the current, so literally the power equation of primary equals the power of the secondary, IVP equals IVS, so remember this is IP, IVP, and ISVS, and the second one would be the ratio, and that's literally it guys, I mean, that's it for now.